Hello everybody and welcome to the Indomitable Soul Man where we all strive to become indomitable souls. Today I'd like to talk about the tug of war between oppression and liberation. Oppression coming in the form of an external identification of who you are, not who you deem yourself to be, but how others do. And essentially what that is, is that's another's ability or desire to gain power or hold on you. That is oppression. Liberation comes with the ability to disassociate with others' labeling or identification of who you are. And see, what that does is that that can cause friction. Whether it's, let's say, a coworker, right? Or your boss who thinks that you're good at one thing and not good at something. But you know deep down that you are very good at the thing that your boss assumes that you're not good at. And if you are consistently bombarded with that identification, many times it's easy to fall prey and to associate with that illusory identification. But if we have the fortitude and the wherewithal to realize that we are actually greater than what others think that we are, that is where liberation comes from. Intrinsic, internal liberation. That can be uncomfortable. Because in many cases that causes friction, that causes, that causes uh, confrontation that's necessary and that's healthy in order to stand up for oneself and to disassociate with somebody else's imposed identification when we're born we're given a secure a social security number we're given a name we're given you know we're put into specific categories as we grow up ah we're good at this we're not good at that and many times we spiritually and mentally and physically will latch on to these preconceived labels and identifications. And in many cases, in most cases, that is extremely self-limiting. We need to be able to have the wherewithal and the fortitude to disassociate with that. And that comes training, that comes with the ability to know thyself. And how do we figure out who we are? It is not through external validation, but rather through internal validation. That is through going out in nature, doing grounding, grounding work, connecting with the earth. That is through meditation, quieting the mind, when we begin to realize that our attention and our focus is the most valuable currency that we have, that is liberation. What are we giving our focus and attention on? On believing others' opinions of who we are or by believing our own, by adopting a new, more positive identification. See, that is how we reach self-actualization and potential. A lot of the friction, internal friction, occurs when we know, our soul knows who we are, but yet we adopt an external identification, one given to us, that is not who we are. See, that is, that is where that friction causes. So we need to be able to open up our connection to our soul and to have that trust and faith in knowing and having and harnessing that ability to listen to our soul's desire and to disassociate with that external identification. I hope this video has been helpful. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe to this channel and we'll have some more information coming to you very soon.
have a beautiful day.